Hello everybody, welcome back to the iTunes family. In this video, I'm going to show you how to downgrade the iPhone 3GS from any iOS version down to iOS, from, to iOS any, any iOS version from iOS 6.1.6. .6. Now, whilst I did make a YouTube video on this two years ago, it didn't work because it, this method, whilst it still works, the only problem is that the iPhone is that this requires you to downgrade your iPhone 3GS to iOS 4.1 first. Which is, which is okay if you're running iOS 4.1, but if you're on iOS 6, I will, will be showing you that. So you don't have to do the previous downgrade, but without further ado, let's actually get into the steps. So the first step is that you need to check whether your iPhone 3G, 3GS is old boot ROM or new boot ROM. So the way to check if it's old or new boot ROM is to go into settings, general, and well, you actually well one way to tell is if it had if it shows a serial if it shows the or if it shows a storage capacity on the back then you know right away then it has a chance of being old boot ROM but if it shows then but if it doesn't show one then it's eight gigabyte and you can't downgrade and you can't and if it's eight gigabyte then you can't downgrade it but in the in the serial number you need to check in the serial number you need to check the fourth and fifth number. And if it's 35 or below, then you can downgrade with this method. Otherwise, there's other methods I've heard of that you can use, but I haven't personally tested them on my old new boot ROM iPhone 3GS, so I don't know if they work. And you can also downgrade to iOS 4.1 with my tutorial now, which I'll link below in the description. But yeah. Now the next now down now other downloads downloads that you'll actually need is that you'll need to download iReb for Windows. And you'll need to download Post 6 Pwned for Windows. So download both of those. And then you'll need to pick any of these IP, custom IPSWs that I have installed down, that I have linked in the description. So that way, depending on where you want, iOS 5, iOS, uh, iOS 4 out throughout 3, or iOS 3, 3. Now, just a note is that iOS throughout 1. Some of these firmwares do come jailbroken, but you can't jailbreak them if, if they don't already have Cydia on them. So because they count as jailbroken because they're custom IPSWs, so please keep that in no a note. And you also do need iTunes 11.2, 11 11 so download it right here in the link below in the description for either 64-bit or 32-bit version of Windows. And just a quick more heads up is that if you're on Windows 10 or 11 or 8 or 8.1, you are likely not, you can try the downgrade, but it's more likely not going to work as these tools are are pretty old and they favor Windows XP 7 and Vista. So, and if you run and you can try to install VM and try to get that working as a part of that working, but I don't know anything about VM. So if you run into any trouble with VM, I am sorry, but I cannot assist you there. And if you see any other problem, any problems, please make sure to watch further in the video and maybe rewatch the video to see what, see if I mention a fix and otherwise if I don't then then comment down below as oftentimes when people comment having issues they often just have they often just need to watch further in the video to learn learn how to fix their issues so now let's go ahead and let's actually get started with the downgrade so the first step is to go into and go into your music folder this is downgrade is windows go into your music folder go into iTunes Go into delete, then delete that folder. Then you need to go into the control panel, go into programs and uninstall program, and then you want to uninstall all the Apple drive. And this is on. And if you have, and then you want to install any applications that you find that are by Apple Inc. Some applications that you find by Apple Inc. If you if iCloud is listed, then uninstall that. But uninstall Apple, uh, Apple application support, Apple mobile mobile device support, Apple, Apple software update, Bonjour, then iTunes. And if you have Boot Camp drivers because you're using Boot Camp Mac, then obviously don't install those. And there's some other stuff like Windows driver packages. If those don't really seem to matter, so and QuickTime also doesn't matter. But anything else that smells like apples are also public or by that I mean published by Apple Inc. Go ahead and just uninstall that. And I'll be back to you once I've uninstalled everything. 
Now the next step after you've done after you've installed iTunes, if you if you have don't have if you have any uh, if you have iTunes installed, is you need to go into iTunes or iTunes setup that you downloaded. Hit run and go ahead and install iTunes. And I'll be back with you once this is done. So once you have installed iTunes onto your computer, you now need to go ahead and jailbreak the phone. Now if you now, if your iPhone is already jailbroken, then you can go ahead and skip to the next to the next step in this video or into timestamp, which I'll have put up on screen. But if you're not jailbroken, then you need to open up Post Six Phone as phone. So go ahead and open that up. But first, just a quick warning is that this tool is very well is very infamous for failing. Specifically, it's infamous for crashing on performing magic. So the best. The best way to fix this is if you do is that if you run into any of these or any of these issues, you need to go ahead and run it in Windows XP compatibility mode. As I found that as I as from what I know that works. So but other but you can just go ahead and go into post six this phone, make sure your iPhone is detected, and then you can just go ahead and hit jailbreak. And then we'll go ahead and jailbreak your phone. I'll be back with you once this is done. Now, once your iPhone is jailbroken, you don't have to do anything with the jailbreak since we're not going to be staying on iOS on iOS 6 for much longer. So now what you need to do is you need to enter DFU mode. So in order to do this, you need to hold the power and home button for 10 seconds and then continue holding the home button for 15 seconds or until your computer detects it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then there we go. It says installing device driver software, so you can see that on the bottom of the screen, so we're good. So now you can just wait for that to install. It shouldn't be too long. And just like that, it has installed. So now, once you, you'll say your iPhone's in recovery mode, even though it's in DFU mode. But you want to close out of iTunes for now, and now you want to open up iRib. Hit yes. If it asks you for that. And then now, when it just shows, asks you if you want it, comes to this screen, just hit iPhone 3 GS, and then and I'll ask for search for SDFU. And then I'll just go ahead and say exploiting with Lime Rain. And then you're good to go. So now you can open up iTunes again. And then I'll say iTunes is detected in iPhone or recovery mode, even though it's phone DFU mode. So now hold the shift key at the same time that you're pressing restore. And there we go. And then you want to find your custom IP PSW. So there we go. I'm going to downgrade to iOS. Now, if you had success like me, even if it was after, if it, even if it, it was after two times, three, two times, because your i your computer iTunes decided to throw you error to errors four sixteen, so you had to go restore your iPhone to iOS six twice and then fix it, which was actually the case of mine. You should be running. I uh, that's a rare error. You should be running whichever version of iOS you downgrade to, and it comes pre-activated, but. As you can tell, I've downgraded mine to iOS 3.1, and I'm quite satisfied with this. So, if you like this tutorial, please give this a like, and please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you all for watching this video, and peace out.